Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about angular magnification. Now this is the first video in my astrophysics optional unit here. So from now on we're going to be talking about astrophysics and the things that are used in it. Now this is very unique to astrophysics where so a lot of the physics has implements from other um, parts of uh, paper one and paper two. Um, but the, a lot of the stuff is unique to the topic. So, angular magnification. So, what we're going to talk about today is observing the universe. And we're going to talk about how we observe it prior magnification. So I'm going to use this idea of angular magnification to explain what it means. So I've got the moon, and the moon's diameter is approximately about 3,500 kilometres. And from Earth, it's about 385 385,000 kilometers away. Now the angle, okay, angular magnification is this whole idea that if I look for a telescope, an object would look closer. And what I mean by this is if I actually draw, this is my eye here, if I draw a line from here to here, to the top of the moon, and at the bottom of the moon, I will have an angle here, okay? And this angle, is this one here? So this is the angle subtended made um, by the unaided eye. And I actually can work out that angle by using something from maths. I'm trying to talk about arc length here, okay? So arc length. Is the radius times by the angle and because we're going to be doing with such tiny angles I can assume that this section here is actually a small slither of a circle so this here this diameter is the arc length so that's 3,500 times 10 to the 3 and the distance between here and here is going to be the radius okay so it's 3, 8, 5, 1, 2, 3 times 10 to the 3 theta. So this angle, so the angle subtended by the naked eye, if I just grab a calculator, is 3,500 times 10 to the 3 divided by 38500 times 10 to the 3, which is going to be 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 3 rad. So we're dealing with very tiny angles. Now if I was to get a telescope, okay, and I was going to magnify it, what would happen is this moon would look closer and if this was closer but the same size so I'm going to draw an imaginary one here the angle I would see would be much bigger okay so angular magnification is how much how basically how much bigger am I making this angle look? In other words, how much closer am I making it? So magnification, or big M, okay, is the angle, so the angle, I'm just trying to get the exact words, so image, subtended by image. So it's going to be this angle here, so I'm just going to underline that and I'm going to just colour it by red like strip divided by the angle of the unaided eye, and that's in the black there. So in this case, I've worked out my angle is 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so the angle, 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 3, right? Okay. If I had a magnification of, say, 20 times, I know if I have that, I've got 20 equals the angle of the image over 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 3. The angle of my new diagram would be this. Okay. And so if my distance, okay, was further away, so my distance is the same, let's see how much the moon would look. So we're going to keep the distance from me and the moon 
okay? But I'm going to keep, what I'm going to happen is the, the moon is going to get bigger. So I know that arc length equals r theta. r is 3850000 zero, 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 times 10 to the 3 times by 0 0.18. So my moon is going to look like it has a diameter of 70 times 10 to the 6 metres. So this here is angular magnification. You can use arc length, etc., to work out what it would be with the unaided eye, and then use the magnification formula to find out how much bigger it would look in a telescope. So that there is angular magnification.